Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to have you joining me for today's video. Today we're going to be doing a um, kind of overdue kitchen reorganization. I've been mentioning this in my past couple of videos where I have wanted to reorganize some of my drawers just because we've been living here now for about four months and I have figured out that where I had things before, <laughs> um, some things just needed to move. Some things needed to be moved into bigger drawers. Some things needed to move, be moved so that I could um, access them a little bit easier. And we're also going to be deep cleaning the pantry because that pantry gets a whole lot of use and it is a hot mess. So reorganizing that, moving out some of the smaller appliances that I'm not using on a regular basis and really just reorganizing now that I know what I'm actually using now that we've actually been living here for a little while. So if you're here for it, let's go ahead and get started. If you are a new uh, visitor, I am super excited that you're here. If you like this video, I would love to have you subscribe and uh, come back for more. I post new videos every Wednesday and, and Sunday. I almost said Wednesday and Thursday. That's definitely not it. So Wednesday and Sunday and yes, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, to get started, we're gonna start over here in my mug cabinet. I'm sure everybody has a mug cabinet that just kind of overflows, and that's what we're gonna get started with today. I am going to go literally from cabinet to cabinet, drawer to drawer, organizing in this space. Oh my goodness, look at my hair, you guys. <laughs> it was raining that day. Oh well. <laughs> we're just gonna go with it, but. Um, like I said, we're going to be going cabinet to cabinet, drawer to drawer, just kind of organizing, reorganizing, moving things around, taking things from one drawer to another, whatever, you know, it seems like it fits better and just reorganizing the kitchen. We have been in this house now since December and I've cooked many a meal. So now I know what I actually use every day and what needs to be moved. We really aren't going to be doing any cleaning in today's video. It's just going to be a bunch of organizing. So hopefully you like that style video. It really needed to be done and it was just such a process and it took so long that I really didn't want to, you know, do any cleaning on the same day. So, but now that I've done all of this, I see how much actual cleaning really needs to happen and that's going to be happening today so let's get this kitchen organized and you'll have to let me know what you think down below One of my goals today in reorganizing the kitchen is removing things that really don't get used. In this drawer, I have my Pyrex dishes and I also had some Pampered Chef stoneware. I really don't use it. This drawer down here, I just have serving dishes, but I wanted to take things that I don't use very often or at all, either completely out of the kitchen 
or move them to a place where they're not taking up valuable space. This big giant drawer here has all of my old pots and pans, things I didn't want to get rid of because I do do a lot of cooking. Sometimes I need extras, especially come the holidays. So I'm just getting it reorganized. This bottom big drawer houses my cupcake tins, a bunch of serving bowls, our popcorn bowl, as well as my roasting pan. It was kind of just a catch-all space, but that one's definitely going to be switching. But these are bowls that I have, including um, colanders, and I just felt like, why was all of this just shoved in there? So we're going to be relocating things from another drawer into that drawer. Uh, really just my baking things that need to get spread out and have more space and then I have this utensil drawer here which is really just a catch-all of utensils I've collected along the way that I do actually use I just don't use them regularly so we're going to be organizing these These trays I picked up at Walmart, they were super affordable, like less than $2 a tray, except for that big one. That big one I got in a set on Amazon. I think I have those linked in my Amazon storefront, um, which is down below. But what I'm gonna do is just try to organize these extra utensils as much as possible. So this first one that I'm cleaning out right here uh, is going to house baking items. So the mixers, um, you know, whatever other, I think there's like fondant tools, um, that kind of stuff. Anything that has to do with baking uh, will go in this uh, tray right here. And then the next tray will house wine aerators and bottle openers and things like that. And then the final tray will just kind of have whatever's left over, like my garlic press and um, my avocado slicer, that kind of thing. So that is what I'm doing in uh, this clip right here. The rest of the items that go in this drawer, which you see up there on the counter, are things that didn't fit into a tray, like some additional cheese graters, there's a zoodler, the apple slicer, um, the banana slicer, believe it or not, we do use that, um, and then the tools for my KitchenAid mixer and our masubi maker.
This drawer is just kind of a catch-all. It does have a bunch of mixing bowls that I use when I'm doing a lot of baking. They're not my good uh, mixing bowls, but they're really good for when I'm doing a lot of baking, especially around the holidays. They do come with lids, so that's kind of nice. I did have that um, rolling pin. I don't even know what that's made out of, ceramic? I think I got that at Target once in the dollar section, but I've never used it, so we're getting rid of that. And then this uh, next drawer here is full of my baking goods, which, like I said, it was a lot of things stacked in a little tiny drawer, and I felt like it could be better utilized. So you're going to see some major uh, reorganization here. And even when I thought that I had made it better, I still decided to switch things around. You'll see that coming up here in a little bit, but um, I'm now just putting all my serving bowls into this bottom drawer, which doesn't end up staying here. This all does end up getting moved, but um, putting my colanders there, those things do get moved. So, And now we're gonna move to the other side of the kitchen. I'm starting up here with uh, my um, cup area. I had butter in there if you just saw that. That's because I, it, it was softening to go into my butter dish. But if I leave it out on the counter, my big black and white cat Guinness, he loves butter. He's, we basically call him Garfield. He, butter is his lasagna. He just loves butter. So I have to soften it uh, in the cabinet because he will eat it. So, <laughs> uh, but this cabinet really is just me organizing it. Nothing really gets moved around in here, but there is a lot of shifting on this side of the kitchen. This model of my stove actually has this drawer on the bottom and we keep our um, pizza sheets down there. And so I decided just to move all of our cooking and baking sheets down there. 
uh, for the most part, except for those white ones that have the um, cooling racks because I use those a lot of the time, especially if I'm, um, you know, pan frying some chicken or anything. So I kept those in the drawer and then I decided to move that beautiful loaf pan over into the baking area that just seemed like a better spot for it. I liked looking at it. It's one of my favorite dishes. I just think it's so pretty. So I kept it there so that every time I opened that bottom drawer, I would see it, but it just wasn't functional over there, honestly. That was one of those things where it was just for looks. This is another kitchen utensil drawer that might look like it's a hot mess, but I know where everything is in here. I use everything in here, uh, except for those um, lemon presses. I don't use those as much, so I'm gonna move those. But everything else I use almost every single day when I'm cooking um, to either serve or you know while I'm cooking. So everything's gonna stay in here. I've got my knife block in here. Um, and it looks a little disorganized, but I know where it all is. I know that. A lot of you are going to understand that <laughs> and then I decided to move the lemon presses over here these are our tools that I do use regularly but I don't use them every day and the lemon press is definitely a tool like that And then we're moving over to this drawer here that has my pots and pans in it. So um, ever since I got the Caraway pots and pans, those live on my countertop. Uh, they're really big and they're really heavy and I like having them just right there on the counter. They're so pretty. I love the pop of green that they bring to my kitchen. Uh, but my children don't use those. So if they're going to make a grilled cheese or you know, a thing of ramen, they just use um, the old pots and pans. So I wanted to, you know, rearrange some things so everything fit a little bit better. And then this bottom drawer here is where I keep um, some other, you know, uh, items for cooking. So all those white dishes there, like the tart dishes and things like that, I use for when I am dredging chicken or anything like that. The one with the lid is like a little casserole dish. And then I do have my Dutch oven. So that was just kind of needing to get a little bit organized. But this is when I came back to that section over here where I decided to uh, move these because I just felt like I used the bowls and the colanders, you know, next to every single day. So um, I wanted those on the top drawer with the other stuff I just use as needed. So again, more rearranging before we're even, <laughs> you know, after we've already done it, but, and I'll probably rearrange it again. That's, you know, just the thing about a function, a functioning kitchen. I cook multiple times a day for a lot of people. And so I need it to be, you know, working as, as functional as, as possible. So that's why we're doing a lot of switching around, but this is a much more functional drawer now. The spice cabinet is good. It's super organized, although it isn't pretty, but I'm okay with that. Um, I go through spices so quickly that I don't even want to try to adjust everything and put it into other things. It's all just, you know, it's good, it gets used, and this is my adorable salt and pepper shaker collection, something that I love to collect, and those flamingos are new. My in-laws brought those back to me from Florida, so. Uh, now we're moving into this section above my refrigerator. So I've got this great cabinet and because it is pulled forward, it is um, the same depth as my refrigerator. It's really deep. It has a lot of space and um, it's easy to get to. So I decided to put the roasting pan up there. I really only use that for holidays, but I wanted to have it nearby. And then I decided that the stoneware that I was going to get rid of, I panicked and thought, oh my gosh, but what if I need it? <laughs> That's why I keep everything in the kitchen. But um, I panicked and thought I might need it again. So I decided to just put it up here where it's available if I need it, but you know, it'll probably go forgotten most of the time. 
And the last area in the kitchen before moving into the pantry is uh, this pantry out by the side of my refrigerator. So this is where I keep all my canned goods um, and some other items as well as, you know, kid plates and water bottles. And then in the one up above is that I have a ton of stuff up there, baking stuff, as well as all of my um, candles and wallflowers, which I did buy some clear organizers for. They just haven't gotten here yet. I ordered them while I was doing this. So you'll see that in a future video. And now we're going to move into the pantry. I'm going to start by taking out the recyclables. So we keep those paper bags um, in the pantry on the floor where we put recyclables. One will have like plastic items that just need to go into the recycle bin. One will have um, cardboard or paper items that we put into the burn pile. And then one will have bottles and cans that we take um, to the bottle return. You don't get a ton of money for it, but the boys enjoy doing that. So, um, and now I'm just going to be taking out a bunch of stuff that I want to reorganize or just completely take out of the pantry. It is functional. Do not get me wrong. We use this pantry every single day and I did a pantry organization video. I'll have that linked for you down below. It's pretty much the same system. It's been working. There's a lot of things in here that don't need to be in here. Uh, things that we can, you know, put downstairs in the basement, like the toaster oven. We never use that. We keep it just in case because once upon a time our oven broke and we needed to use it until we got a replacement. So I'm like terrified to get rid of it. Same thing with my bread maker. I was actually selling it during the pandemic and somebody was like, oh my gosh, like with the way groceries are going, you might as well keep it. What if, you know, what if you can't find bread? I'm like, oh my gosh, I guess I shouldn't get rid of it. So it still lives in my pantry, but it doesn't need to be there. So uh, I'm just removing things and I'm going to clean off these counters and then I'm going to be putting the things back in, hopefully in a more organized fashion. I'm going to move things to, you know, higher on the shelves, things that I use all the time and just try to make it a little bit more functional. And if you've ever wondered where my microwave is, here it is. It's in my pantry. Uh, one of the shelves has um, outlets. And so that's where we keep our microwave. That's where we keep our toaster. Uh, we can even run a crock pot in here if we wanted to. I haven't done that yet. Just all I think about is this is us. <laughs> but I could if I wanted to. section here I'm just putting items that we use regularly but not all the time so that's my rice cooker that other one was like the ninja bullet uh, blenders that's my waffle iron I've got um, the egg uh, tooled egg cooker and that there is just a 
a bunch of plastic utensils for when we have friends over. And then I also have these um, drink pitchers uh, that I keep here in the pantry as well for when we're having dinner, I'll make like a big batch of lemonade, things like that. And now I'm just gonna be adding in, you know, items that we use but don't use regularly. And just like I said, try to reorganize a little bit. When I first uh, organized this pantry, I just wanted to keep it really affordable. There are so many great organization tools out there. I just didn't want to spend a ton of money. So most everything that you see here is either from the Dollar Tree, um, those black uh, baskets there with the wooden handles, those are from Target. They were in the Target dollar spot. Constantly check that area. They've got a lot of stuff in there for organization. Um, they're regularly, you know, adding new items in there. So definitely continue to check those areas out. But I wanted to keep it, like I said, as affordable as possible. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on, you know, organization tools just because I don't like to do that. <laughs> so a lot of the items, like I said, are either from the Dollar Tree, from Target, and then there are also some items from Walmart. I go more into detail about where everything is from in that pantry video, so definitely check that one out if you haven't already. Because we keep so much of the recyclables down here on the bottom of the pantry on the floor, I try really hard not to keep a lot of other stuff. Um, what I'm doing right now is just going through these uh, bins that I've got on the bottom. So I've got that plastic bin over there, that one's from Target, and then I have this basket where I usually keep the chips. However, we're pretty low on food right now, like I already mentioned. Um, maybe I didn't already mention that, but we, we're pretty low on food. Uh, we just got back from vacation yesterday. so definitely need to put you know new food in the kitchen uh, which is going to be coming up in an upcoming video however what I was saying was that I just try to keep you know a lot of stuff off the ground I just I don't know I don't like to have a lot of stuff down there in the ground so probably because I have pantry eaters and it's hard to vacuum when there's too much stuff down there so I'm just kind of moving things around going to get this cleaned up and vacuumed and we'll be wrapping up this kitchen reorganization video. And here's the final product. It may not look that different and it may not look super aesthetically pleasing, but it is used all the time. I'd rather be functional than look really, really pretty. So let me know what you think down below.
Okay, my friends, it has been a hot minute uh, that I have been filming this video. If I look the same as that intro, that's because I decided to film the intro and the outro at the same time <laughs> to save myself a little bit of voiceover. I waited until the very last minute to film this video because we have been out of town for um, the Easter weekend. And so we just got back late last night, which was Monday. Today is Tuesday and I am filming this. It is now almost six o'clock at night and I have got to still edit this bad boy. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I It feels really good to have the kitchen organized. It is dirty, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, like the appliances really need scrubbed, but I didn't wanna do that in today's video. I feel like you've seen enough of that. I'll do that off camera. And I'm also putting in a really big food order because we are um, pretty low on food as you saw. And I really need to fill the fridge. So we're getting back to work um, next Monday after spring break. So in next Sunday's reset, you're going to be seeing a whole heck of a lot of food prep and food organization and possibly some cooking so stay tuned and like i said if you enjoyed this video i would love to have you subscribe and come back for more and until the next one you guys i hope you have a great day and i'll see you soon take care bye